I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. For this week's mashup, we have put together a few of our favorite Pinterest-inspired crafts. From side tables to bow pillows, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here is a Pinterest-inspired craft. Our dolls are going to show their creative side and make watercolor artwork for the dollhouse using plain white paper, a pencil, watercolors, water, recycled paperboard, cardstock, pictures for inspiration, and glue. I start by finding a picture for inspiration. I am going to use a picture of a horse because I want to make watercolor unicorns. On a plain piece of white paper, I begin to sketch the outline of the horse. And it doesn't have to be the best sketch, you just need the basic idea. For a shortcut, you can search horse outlines to trace. Place a piece of white paper over the tablet, turn out the lights so the outline shines through. Then carefully trace over it, add a unicorn horn, and now it is time to paint. Using watercolors, I begin to fill in the unicorn staying inside the lines adding different colors, and using water to blend them. Allow them to dry, glue them onto paperboard or cardstock. This allows me to remove any wrinkles from the paper. Cut them out, carefully erase the pencil marks, so our watercolor unicorns look like they were painted freehand. For a little extra fun, cut strips of yellow cardstock, cut them into small rectangles, then stack and glue together. Cut a piece of white paper that is slightly smaller, use the watercolors to paint small ovals, glue it onto the cardstock, add a painted toothpick from our doll art class video to make a watercolor set. Then take two rectangles of recycled paperboard, stack and glue them together so it's the same on both sides. Cut and stack several layers of white cardstock then add one rectangle of colored cardstock on top. Apply glue to the top edge, add a small piece of washi tape across the top and fold it over to the back. Sketch a picture on a small piece of paper, glue it across the front to make mini art pads for the artistic doll. And you're done. Happy crafting! Is a quick craft. On our last YouTube Live video, we had a request for a bow pillow. So we are going to make one using two and a half inch ribbon, a needle and thread, and fluff. I start by taking some ribbon. And I'm using a two and a half inch ribbon because I like the miniature pattern and I think it will help to keep my line straight. However, you can also use a cotton fabric and then just cut it down to size if you choose. The ribbon is two and a half inches wide, and I am going to cut three and a half inches. So I cut once, then twice, for the front and back of the pillow. This ribbon does have a wire in it, so I need to carefully remove it, stack and lay the ribbon, good side to good side, thread a needle. On one of the long sides, I begin sewing about one third away from the edge, using a straight stitch where I push the needle through the fabric, gently pull it from the back, then go back through the side we just came out, pull it forward, and repeat. On the sides of the ribbon where there is a factory finish, I can get the needle right up to the edge because I'm not worried about it unraveling. However, on the raw cut edge, I give it about a fourth of an inch seam allowance. I try to keep the stitches short, even, and close together. When I get close to the end, I leave an opening so I can turn it inside out. So here is our unstuffed pillow. Now I can add some fluff, sew the opening closed, tie a knot the thread, then 
take the end and push it through the pillow, come out in the center, cut off the excess to hide the end of the thread inside the pillow. Take more ribbon, cut off a piece that can fit around the pillow, remove the wire if needed, fold over the sides, with the good side facing down, place it onto the center of the pillow, pulling the ends around the back, pinch it to get the desired look, sew a straight line across the ribbon, being careful not to catch the pillow, tie a knot the thread, trim off the excess, trim off the excess fabric, then flip it over to make a bow shaped pillow. We have seen these all over Pinterest and they are just adorable. I've seen them a lot with stripes and polka dots. I chose to do a flower because I just love this print. Here is a solid and that came out pretty cute. I'm making another one using some cut fabric. And sometimes I find it useful to use a pencil to draw the line that I'm supposed to stitch on. Hand stitching sometimes has a tendency to get a little wobbly. So if I have a line as a guide, it comes out a little neater then continued just as before. I brushed the front with a layer of fabric glue, added glitter, allow it to dry, add another thin layer of glue, and I'm just gonna tap this on so that I don't move the glitter too much to make a glitter pillow. And you're done. Happy crafting! is a Pinterest inspired craft. Today we are going to make a butterfly chair. Using wooden dowels, furry fabric, acrylic paint, felt, and glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. I start by taking four wooden dowels. Mark and measure them all for the back of the chair. I'm gonna try making it about seven inches. Cut on the line drawn. So I have four seven inch wooden dowels and four five inch wooden dowels. Take two of the seven inch wooden dowels, glue them together at the top. I used a generous amount of hot glue and allowed it to dry. Repeat for the other wooden dowels using the first one as a guide. I take the five inch wooden dowels, line them up with the bottom of the seven inch wooden dowels and glue them together at the top. Then repeat for the other five inch wooden dowels, creating four upside down letter V's. Take a large one and one of the smaller ones, glue the bottom ends together at an angle. I chose to glue it to a piece of paper so the bottom end would be flat. Take the other two and glue them on so each side crosses with the seven inch wooden dowels in the back and the five inch in the front. When you lift it up, you should be able to see a square. Mine's a little lopsided. Probably should have drew it on the paper first. Yeah, that would have helped. Where the wooden dowels cross, I put a small drop of glue to give it more support. Carefully remove the paper, paint it with acrylic paint. I'm using black because it helps to hide all of the imperfections. Allow it to dry to make the frame for our butterfly chair. Now we can make the first seat. Using a scratch piece of paper and a pencil, on the frame, this is the back of the chair. So we're going to lay it onto the paper, trace around the top, giving it a nice amount of clearance. Then make a swoop going from one end to the other. Then go around that side and go straight down. I stop right about where the wooden dowels cross in the back, turn the frame over, placing the cross at the center, and trace around it just as before. Remove the frame and make adjustments to the pattern. I took this side in on a curve, and I wanna make sure that both sides are even, so I fold it in half, cut on the line drawn, to make my pattern. Place it on the frame to see if it's a good fit. I think that'll work. 
I place the faux fur onto my table with the good side facing down, place my pattern on top, lightly sketch around it with a pencil or chalk, cut on the line drawn, trace the ends of the pattern onto a piece of felt, cut them out so there is one for each corner, apply glue around the curved edge, then glue it into place, making a pocket. Repeat on all four corners. To place it onto the frame, put the pockets over the ends of the wooden dowels to make a fur seat that our dolls can curl up in for a cozy afternoon. And since the fur is just a cover, we can make different ones using other non-fraying fabrics. This time I made it with a faux leather, I sewed on the ends, and used a hot glue gun to hem the edges because the back of this faux leather is white and I didn't want it to be seen. Cut a piece of white faux fur, lay it across the chair, add our large desk lamp from a previous video, a side table, and a plant for another Pinterest-inspired look. And you're done. Happy crafting! Here is a quick Pinterest inspired craft. I am going to make a rope side table for a doll by recycling applesauce cups, using some twine, and glue. I start by trimming down the outer rim of two applesauce cups. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot or sharp objects. Once the rim has been trimmed, glue the two cups together. Take twine, glue it to the center, then begin to wrap it around, adding glue along the way until the whole top is covered. Then continue going around the sides all the way to the bottom. Trim off the excess to complete the side table. Add books and magazines and a bead with a plant glued inside for a cute addition to the dollhouse. And you're done. Happy crafting! Cause all I really need is me Bruises No, I don't mind the bruises I keep it on and failing It's part of the game, yeah, yeah Moving Baby, I can't stop moving And I don't care about your approval You walk and that's a futile And if you're down for Thank you for joining us for this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye